Hey guys, welcome back. Drip and Power and Poor Pop. I'm your host, Drip Coach, dropping knowledge bombs on all Drip ecosystem related projects. And today, man, again, more of that humble pie. I admit, I am taking a 180. I was completely wrong, and I'm going to tell you exactly wrong about what um, after we play this clip. So you don't want to miss this because, regardless of how you may feel about this person on the screen, um, he is tapped in and he too has. Uh, changed from what he used to the pitch and chill and you know he's, he gets puts out some good information if you're willing to um, listen right so a lot of the times in this crypto DeFi space we get polarized on a person because of what they said what they did or how they look or whatever the case may be and then you don't want to actually listen so if you just take a step back and digest as Bruce Lee said take what is useful and discard what is not you will be surprised how much you can learn. And this is where I have come to grips in my humble pie journey over the last two to three weeks. But I'm gonna play this clip for you from him. And then I'm gonna tell you what that means for me and why I'm taking a 180. Um, but the whole thing is just pay attention to the culture. Guys, the education is on YouTube. The culture is on Twitter. And the culture is what generates these meme coins and NFTs moving. Guys, this is not crypto. These have no utility. These have no real value. This is why we call it the casino crypto, the crypto casino portfolio. Because it's just, it, you might as well be going to stake in, in, in some regards. Sometimes you get a sense that some of these might be moving, but the same way, like when you're on a good run of cards in a card game and you say to yourself, I think my luck changed. I need to get out now. If you keep playing, the odds in any casino gambling game will tell you, if you continue playing, you will always end up at zero. Now, that is some hard truth facts. So like you said, the culture is on Twitter and the education is on YouTube. And since I started out my journey, I was, I've always been on YouTube for that education piece and being a coach, I kind of um, regurgitate that narrative about education and utility and all this stuff. And I got in my own way. <laughs> so I even resonated with what Forex was trying to do and build utility and the innovation and where the space is going and all that. It's like, yes, that is 100% true, but it's not here now. And if you want to capitalize on crypto and make money now, then you have to play the game with the rules that are in place now. And until those rules change, you're gonna be playing against yourself because you got a whole swarm of investors, DGENs, whatever you wanna call them, that are playing this game as is. And I don't think that energy is gonna change anytime soon, especially with the US running around with his head cut off, not knowing how to regulate things, other countries embracing things, and it's still kind of being the wild, wild west. Yeah, they're cutting off the on-ramps, but it's not stopping uh, the degens in the space. And in this video, he was talking about this one particular guy who uh, told him about Pepe before Pepe went on a run. And that's what I'm getting at, is that, yeah, I have to get out of my own way. I have to realize that the space is driven 100% by degens. I personally don't identify with that, but I can get behind it 100% because I follow the uh the trends as they say the trend is your friend and i see the noise i see all the hype and i get it i was wrong <laughs> i admit that and i am willing to uh follow the actual momentum and the energy in the space because you either get with it or you get left behind and I don't, I'm not into any of these meme coins, but I've just been listening to a Twitter space from one of the guys he mentioned, and they were shilling all these tokens. So since I don't follow the meme space, cause I'm not tapped into Twitter like that, um, I missed out on a lot of these. So like Gensler is a $4 million market cap and it had like a 10,000 X already. Bob uh, has done the same thing. It's sitting at a $110 million market cap. This Pooh coin, which is because Winnie the Pooh apparently just lost, uh, Disney lost the rights. They didn't re re up or whatever the case may be. And people shilled it. So now it's a $25 million market cap. And Pepe is sitting at 1.87 billion. <laughs> so what am I getting at? The point is we're in a bear market and 1.1 billion. I'm sorry, 1.1 billion. We're in a bear market. And yet all of these um, DGEN, non-utility, meme coins 
are bringing in money. Whether you like it or not, you can't ignore that there's something here. So how does this tie into what I'm trying to do? Well, this goes back to the crypto ranch idea that I keep telling you guys about. I know I am not tapped into the space properly enough to understand the energy that's there because again, my skill set and focus is that of a coach in the education side, but I recognize I have a gap in my skill set and I need to leverage that other side from other people. And when we, and that specifically is on Twitter, as BitBoy said, the culture, the community is on Twitter. So things happening in real time are happening on Twitter. And I've known that since I've been in the space. That's exactly how the NFT uh, craze went off. And I think Twitter is going to continue to be that kind of a uh, real time hub for things popping off, especially with Twitter space and things of that nature. So that means in order to take advantage of this, you have to have more ears on Twitter. And since that's where I'm lacking, I've, I've learned and I'm looking, I see now we built this drip marketing DAO, 736 followers on Twitter. Now with this crypto ranch idea, this means that if we can work as a collective and we have this many people out there on Twitter that can help kind of steer the boat towards whatever is being popularized at the moment, then the crypto ranch NFT project could actually benefit from some of these things, right? So hear me out. The way the meme coin hype works is that you are basically throwing spaghetti at the wall, hoping one of these stick. And if you don't have that much uh, risk capital, then y y it's hard for you to uh, get into each one. But what if as a collective, again, we get these NFTs, we stake them on the farm, and now we have reoccurring dividends. We can now allocate from those dividends to different projects. And if you got a lot of people, 736 or however many actually would support this, sharing Intel, then as a collective, you can minimize your losses because it's like, okay, out of these 700 people, 45%, uh, 50% said that they heard about this token as brand new or whatever. So now you can take a portion of that risk capital and throw it in there. That's the community treasury out, uh, aspect. And if it bombs, nobody's really butthurt about it. Why? Because it was risk capital and it came from the community treasury and you got the dividends to come back the next month or week or whatever, right? So we're able to continue to play the game the way it's designed, leveraging the energy in the space, leveraging the collective information of people tapped into different communities, bring it all back to one location. That is what I thought the animal farm was supposed to be with the community governance and stuff. And it's missed the boat. So that's what my crypto ranch project can put things back in perspective with that. But the only way this works is if we get enough people on board to support it. So step one, get influencers and, uh, content creators and people on Twitter, join that telegram. And then we launch the NFT project. Cause first we need a place to put that energy, energy being whatever risk capital we can gather together. Once we put that together, we can stake that on the farm, still have some dividends to play, pay out with uh, some lucky draw and things of that nature. But the goal would be to create this community treasury and be able to gamble <laughs> as a collective, uh, going into these meme tokens or whatever the case may be. And if, as I mentioned in the other video, this collective group, these Twitter followers, content creators also decide to say, hey, we're in this project as a collective, we're sharing it. You now have 736 people retweeting about something that they are now vested in, same way we do at Drip. But now this is focused energy because you're sharing it and it's no different than what's happening organically with these other meme tokens. They have gotten organic engagement and they're getting pumped because people are talking about it. That's it. Like you have to recognize the energy in the space and people are just going to talk about whatever is popular. Forex said it himself. People don't buy value, they buy hype. Well, I'm tired of waiting to get people to buy the value. I wanna now sell hype <laughs> because if not, we're gonna be left behind and that's not why we're here in this space. So to me, we need to come together as a collective and leverage this opportunity that's showing up right in front of our face. Also, from oops, with the Crypto Ranch project, we could create a token that is just like any of these. And again, we now have the collective of people, followers and content creators to hype our own project the same way we did with Drip. But this time, without the inflation, without the complexity, without the staking, without anything, 
do it the exact same way we've seen it work for other projects and then the DAO can own a portion of those tokens and they can just burn them um, as they see fit. So not even trying to put in a burn mechanism. Don't complicate it, right? Copy paste the model that is already working. Tony Robbins, success leaves clues. Here's a bunch of projects that have launched within the last couple of months with super high total supply. And DGENs love that because you can buy millions, billions, and trillions for a couple bucks. And that makes people feel good about their investment. You have to be understand how the space and the energy runs. And I don't have a complete tap on it, but I know as a collective, if we have some of these people that are here, we could have a good pulse on what's going on and together we could create something. So please, if you resonate with this and you think it's time for a change and you're tired of sitting on the sidelines and you want to do something to pump your own bags and you want to be part of a community of like-minded people that will market and do something, share this video tell them about the crypto ranch telegram group and let's get this to the next level let's put this all together and get the right people on board and create the nft and get people to support it so that we can get the liquidity that we need and then either a like i said build our own project or b be able to at least take those community rewards and uh leverage the collective hive mind to get into something and pump our own bags like it's, it's limitless once we actually have the liquidity coming in because we can try multiple different things. We can throw uh, money at different meme coins um, and if it doesn't work, we at least learn, right? And then we can create our own treasury. All these things are possible when we start working together rather than against one another. As I keep saying, collaborate over comp compete. Collaboration over competition. All right, hope that provides value. Hope it provides some clarity and hope you are willing to support this Crypto Ranch idea. And if so, Leave me a comment down below and smash that HBO special brother out. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, live daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.